Fresh right. mop. Look at you looking all nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. You're my, you're my you're my third interview of the day. I'm just trying to look classy. All Maybe. right. Katrina, Sam, thank you so much for doing this with me because I know it's pretty late there and you guys are super busy. Um, so I appreciate it. The finale is amazing. And I personally loved all the action stuff. The um, I'm anti-gun in real life, but I'm pro Jamie and Claire guns. Like, <laughs> um, same, same. I mean, it's the best. So uh, Katrina, you were right. You guys are really like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. And you even squeeze out a single tear. And Sam, I feel like you had a single tear last, last season. So it's great. Uh, oh, it's counting. something for great. everyone. So Sam, uh, I know I know Katrina's favorite scene. Um, so I guess what I'm asking is, what is your favorite scene in this finale that you think fans are going to freak out at, and what was your favorite to film? I mean, favorite scene this this episode. I think it's the last last meal together. Um, it's it's a beautiful, intimate scene. Um, we sit with Jamie and Claire for quite a, quite a while, and and they're sort of assessing the situation that they're in and and death, but then also. I don't know, uh, giving each other great comfort. And um, there's just- uh, They're uh, lobsters. They're little lobsters. And there's little an little intimacy little. about it, even in, in the height of this standoff and you know action, there's this really beautiful, quiet moment. Um, I think it was beautifully shot by Jamie Payne, the director. And I think I really enjoyed that working with Katrina yeah. on that yeah. moment. You guys do a lot of domesticity stuff that I think we never see on television in marriages that I think is like really phenomenal. Um, so, you know, I know you both have talked about having an intimacy coordinator this season, mainly to help out like the younger cast members to give them the support that I feel like you guys were really missing. Uh, Katrina, I feel like there shouldn't be an award for you for performing love scenes while pregnant. There should be something creative for that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't comfortable. So uh, I don't think it was comfortable for me or Sam. No, <laughs> like, no, I know. I, that's why I think you guys should get an award. Um, but you know, looking back on the earlier seasons, season one, two, three, are, is there a love scene that you can say, oh my gosh, I wish we had an intimacy coordinator for that because it was just, because you guys had to navigate that a lot on your own, I felt like. You know, I think having one now, you know, I think before Vanessa joined, we were kind of like, yeah, we should do this for the younger actors and like, you know, you and I would probably be fine, blah, blah, blah. But having worked with Vanessa now, I wish we'd had her from the very start. I think yeah. for all of them, it it changes a lot in terms of just how the conversation goes around how you do it. Um, you know, we have always had fight coordinators. Yeah. It seems crazy now that we haven't had a intimacy coordinator. I think to have had somebody advocate for you or be your voice and, you know, I, I think Sam and I probably both feel that, you know, we were very naive in the very beginning and I think you definitely could, you know, there's times where there was, we weren't told exactly where the cameras were going to be or exactly how things were going to be shot and, you know, you can end up not always being so happy with what ends up on the screen and people get to screenshot that for the rest of your days, <laughs> you know? I know. But, I, you know, I will also say I've been so lucky that I've had Sam and Tobias from day one to work alongside because that's always been a very safe and um, trusting partnership that I've always been able to have. So I feel very lucky in that way, but it would have been nice to have an intimacy coordinator. Sam, do you want to add anything to that? That was such a good. I agree. I, I, I well, firstly, yeah. I mean, I, I, I think you know, Katrina and I, because we ha we trust each other and have each other's backs. I think it we got to a place where we would feel our way through these scenes or work our way through it. But it it was a real process, and and it this just having an intimacy advisor just takes out the the pressure and um, the the temperature uh, of those scenes for us to then look at it objectively and go, what do we want from the scene? How are we going to do that and how are we going to portray this? And also, look, we're in seven seasons now. How do we make these scenes more interesting or how do we develop them or go further with them? And, and we don't always have the answers. So it's great to have an, uh, an outside uh, someone to sort of really support us and help us explore those scenes. Yeah, um, you guys did a great job. I think you covered the gamut of intimacy, especially given what Claire went through last season. I think you did a, a fantastic job. And I think sometimes fans don't need to gif every scene. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> it would be nice. 
Yeah. But, um, you know, speaking of your partnership, I really think it's the foundation of this show. Um, it's as important, I think, to the success of the show as Diana's books. Um, so as producers, co-stars, um, uh, everything, friends, how have you navigated um, conflict at work? And I don't mean like, like you two are dueling, but like you see a scene differently. Do you, um, how do you resolve uh, differences at work? It very rarely happens. Yeah. Right? Um, but I think there's always, I think in, it's also generally in a scene, there is one character that's driving it versus another character. And I think we are pretty good at, you know, if, if it's a scene that's more Jamie driven, I'll let Sam take the lead on how he feels about how it should go. Um, and vice versa, I think we're pretty good at sort of allowing each other to sort yeah. of own our own spaces. You guys get along too well. Just stop it. Just give a course on it and let's move on. Um, but that's great. That's great. Because I always think, you know, my job when I have conflict, I was like, oh, thank God I don't have to make out with my coworkers. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think we've ever really, I mean, it just, I mean, of course, there's always moments where, you know, you get tired of each other or it's just so in, it's so intense right like we it, it's yeah. so intense and we've been together so long but it, it actually is amazing that we haven't ever really fallen out um but uh, i guess because we also like spend so much time there's always that moment in the first in the morning where we're together and we're in the makeup trailer and it's like that's normally where we talk crap but but also like where we might be like hey should we do this or whatever and i think um uh it's been it's been great i mean let's have let's have an argument tomorrow shall we let's oh just... Should we just have a big blow up? Yeah, like, I would just, love like that, just make it up and just like scare everyone. Yeah, yeah. Just accidentally IG live it. It would be great. I'll send that <laughs> ah, <yes>. Izzy. <laughs> um, all right. What's your favorite thing about portraying this marriage and this love story on television? That's, it's that sound isn't me, by the way. It sounds like a kettle. It's not me. Oh, that's you. Oh, it's a kettle. Oh, it's not me. Oh, is it you, Katrina? I don't hear I think anything. It, really. I think it's the boiler. <laughs> that your boiler i think that's my boiler sorry it's like like i have the shittiest office in the world it's literally no, no, it's good. Like... It's good. you have internet connection that's like a win yeah it's been patchy um <laughs> <laughs> um what's our favorite i you know it's just so lovely to put out something super positive i mean i oh, know there's a lot of stuff around them but at their core it's a you know this positive love this positive bond that they have that is unbreakable i think it's just really beautiful to be able to put that out into the world when there's just so much shit going on in the world it's nice to be putting something positive what could you be talking there. about which trauma i mean there's just... pick one pick yeah, yeah. one reshma <laughs> sam how about you yeah i think it's a really great point right i think you know and i think was wondered you know why we have i mean we have amazing fans but we have some of the most invested fans i think of any fan group or genre or whatever and i think it's that maybe that they they see in in this this pair this couple this relationship that i think everyone wants to aspire to and have that kind of love um yeah. it's it's beautiful to be able to, to portray yeah. that I was just about to say your fans are um, like so passionate. They're like bar none, the best I've seen in television. I was like very nervous for this interview because I was like, oh, if I let them down, they'll let me know. <laughs> and yeah, so, yeah, and you know, bar none, they're, they're such pleasant, progressive, like really nice people. I've only gotten yelled at by three of them, and two of them were <laughs> Roger fans, and one was Richard. So, <laughs> so there you go. He <laughs> does that all the time. Yeah, I have it on video. I'm he just, just gonna say it. Yeah. He was just <laughs> angry. That's all. Well, he probably was. Um, so let's do a few fan questions. Again, I made the mistake of asking Twitter and there's so many. So guys, just do an IG live for them. That's what they really want. Um, okay. Uh, Sam, they have a lot of passion for Jamie's hair um, and the ponytail being free. And they are very specific oh, too. They want it free now. while it's dry. So um, I just want you to know, I don't even know if that's a question, but they were like really specific about it. Yeah. And I, there was but so would we not go into like Fabio territory with yeah, the law? That's what I think. Awful. No, it, it, the thing is that in their mind, they think it's all perfectly styled. But the point is, it's got a lot of hair. And if it's free and dry, it is like, it's, it's like out here. I mean, it's going to literally look 
terrible. Also, he would, you know, he'd turn and it would be like a swish. And, I you know. think I think what you could do is do a free the pony behind the scenes slow mo thing. I, I I will I will when this is all over. I'll, I don't know. I'll I'll end of the season whatever. I'll I'll, I'll tweet a picture of it down. It That's it looks good. horrendous. And, okay, and so, so no Fabio are, guys. It's not no. Fabio Fraser. <laughs> We have we have a different. Oh, I like that. Person. A computer <laughs> alter ego, Fabio Fraser. Yeah. Katrina, maybe you post something. I don't know. Um, okay, guys, we only have like one minute left, so um, it's gonna be a long drought, Lander. So if you had to describe season seven in seven words and go back and forth, you can do free word association. Oh, seven. Okay. Um, oh, Jesus, Reshma. Um, yeah, boats. Boilers. No. Um, <laughs> okay, one boat. Bo boats, babies. Um, returns. Ooh. Which season are we doing? Seven. Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah babies. Returns. Okay. Um, uh, reconnections. Reconnections. That's. What, I was looking for like yeah. relationships, but reconnections is good. Okay. Trauma. I'm just gonna add that because I. Just... Uh, and, and and revolution. 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 That's it. Yeah. We could. We need one more. Um. Uh. Travel. I was gonna say that. That's exactly. Oh, okay. Right. Good. You got it. All right. We have time for one last question. The this one more fan question, Sam. <laughs> What's the movie that you haven't seen that you've been meaning to see that maybe you've now seen? I don't know what they're talking about. He still about. hasn't seen it. Um, I still haven't seen it yet. I've got oh, it. I've got what it. does this say? What does this Sam, say? Sam, you can bribe me oh, to not put this in the... In the, I've, in the... I've got it. I'm gonna no, put it in. Put it in. I'll let it. everybody see. Yeah. I did notice you said you saw White... You watched White Lotus. And I just uh -huh. was like, how did you have time for White uh -huh. Lotus? Uh -huh. That was ages ago. Katrina paid me to do this. <laughs> just, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't. I'm just I know, I know. All right, last question, final one, guys. He's so sick of me. He's that me every, every day, time. though. You know, I know. But Sam, time. I didn't mean it. The first, I, but they just gave me the warning, so here we go. Okay. Everyone one wants more. to know season season eight. I know you can't answer whether you do that, but this is what I want to know. If are do you guys feel like the show is challenging you enough, giving you enough growth? um for you to continue on in future seasons and have you read book eight and are you is there anything you're excited about that's four questions <laughs> that's like four in you, one i know katrina i just did your did you a solid <laughs> you did that one. nothing to do with me don't even don't even come over here and try and pull out right, 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 stuff yes yes maybe and probably okay <laughs> Guys, you're fantastic. I have to say, I've had such a joy covering your show in the pandemic. I feel like we've spent these last two years together, and you do fantastic work. Well, and thank you for your your great recaps. I know everyone oh. loves yeah. loves them. They're they're great. I know. I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm so excited it's the finale because I need my Sundays back. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but guys, you're awesome. I, I really, I, I can't tell you how much I love covering your show. So, um, awesome. Thank you. Job. Sam, Thank I'm so you. sorry. So sorry. <laughs> the boiler's still going. It's all right. It's still going. I don't even know. Why is it going right now? It's never going at the right time. Are you next to a boiler right now? It's, it's, I, I can't even explain. Maybe where someone's I'm... running the tap. There's no one else here. All right, guys. Um, I think they're going to. Uh, <laughs> great seeing both of you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>